Hey guys, Trey Llewellyn here. Welcome to the Unstoppable Core, week number four. So what are we gonna do today? This is a great question I get in the mastermind all the time. It is, man, should I, should I do an opt-in? Should I ask for emails up front? Cause you know, it's the thing to do, right? Or, or what I'm seeing is I'm making more money without the opt-in. When I remove that opt-in, I don't ask them for an email. I just put a click, click here, go here. It's an order form. Man, the sales are great. So I wanna mathematically break down what's better. Is the opt-in better or is the no opt-in better? That's the question. And that's what we're gonna figure out today. So, opt-in versus no opt-in, right? We're gonna say we have a funnel, okay? We're gonna send a thousand clicks just to make the math really easy. And we're gonna have a, a product at 10 bucks, okay? So, our opt-in, this is gonna be someone who's opting in. Over the, across the board of all of our funnels, we took a little data analysis, we get about a 43% opt-in, okay? Which is pretty good. So 43% opt-in to a product saying, hey, you know, would you like to get a coupon code or would you like to get a discount or hey, would you like to see, you know, if you, if you qualify for this product. So after all that, 43% of the people who see that opt-in, opt-in, okay? And then the order form, so these are people saying, hey, I, I want that product, right? I'm going to do whatever it takes to get in. So our order form, we're going to see that as, as a higher bump. So we see about a 10% take on our order form when they opt in. Now let's look at some numbers, right? 43% of 1,000 is 430 people. We take 430 uh, of times 10, which gives us is 430 bucks. There we go, math is perfect, right? All right, so $430, there we go, that's easy enough. Now let's look at the no opt-in. So again, across the board, when you don't opt-in, right, it's just, hey, do you want a coupon code? Press this link and push over. We're seeing about a 70%. So 70% that see the coupon button actually go over and, and pop it, okay? So that's 70%. So no one opts in, they just, that's 70% of the traffic of those thousand clicks that's pushing over. So 700 people see the order form, okay? 700 people see it. Now, of course, since they didn't have to opt in, there was no really you know, transition of, of, hey, here's kind of my email, let's see what the offer is. So it's a lot more traffic. But you're not gonna see the same type of buying power. So you're actually gonna see a decrease inside your order form. What we notice is about an 8%. So the 700 people, 8% of those purchase, which you get about 56, that's gonna be 56 orders. So 56 at that $10 amount gives you 560 bucks. All right, well. So it looks pretty good here, right? We have no opt-in at $560. We have the opt-in at 430 bucks. What's that a difference of? So that's a difference of $130 per 1,000 clicks. So as it looks on paper right now, the no opt-in's winning, right? And most people look at it that way as well. But in here in a minute, I wanna prove that not true. I wanna prove that false. But here's the thing, is it really is gonna depend on how qualified you are, and two, how much cash you need. In a, in, a, in a system or in a business, when you're running these type of funnels, you might be in a cash negative position where you're like, man, I just need cash right now. And so I would suggest going to no opt-in form. But if you're able to float, maybe you have some cash reserves, and you, you're like, hey, you know what? We can, we can withstand a little bit of a decrease in our funnels because we know the longevity of this business, the long-term value is what we're after, right? Building a brand, building a name, getting more customers, stuff like that. Well, if that's the case, then you're in the same business as I am, right? The long term. And that's what I want to show you here. So with a no opt-in, we got 560 bucks for every thousand clicks. Okay, it's 50 cents a click. On the opt-in, we had 43 buyers, right? At 430 bucks per 1,000. So a difference of $130. But what's interesting is with the opt-in, with the opt-in here, well, I got emails, I got phone numbers. You know, when someone opts in, we ask them for their email and their phone number. So that means I have now 430 leads. And what we've seen over the progression of years from our numbers is that an email is worth to us about $4.50 per year. So I have 430 of those emails and the phone numbers are worth about a dollar per year. And these are profits, okay? So phone, a dollar, so I have a 430. So now check this out. 430 times 450 is 1935, so 1,935 dollars. And then we got phones of so 430, so that's pretty easy. So 430. So what's this total, right? This plus that is 2,365 dollars total over the course of a year. Okay. So again, like I said you kind of got to float out there a little bit. But this is what's cool. So now we're going to take 2,365 plus our original 430. 
So that gives us $2,795 for an opt-in. Okay, so we'll put that right here. So $2,795 versus what we initially got with a no opt-in, which is 560 bucks. Holy moly, look at that. How crazy is that? So what we saw at first was that, man, I think, I think the no opt-in is the way to go because look at how much cash I'm getting. Without, when, the, when I'm doing the opt-in, right, and these leads are just kind of sitting out there, I'm getting 430, so I'm, I'm gonna totally take away the opt-in and go the no opt-in way, right? Which is the mistake a lot of people do. But when you have a system in place, when you're emailing your, your leads, when you're phone calling your leads, well, you can bring in an extra $2,300 for every thousand clicks, which makes you really extremely profitable, right? So again, I want you to take a look at what your funnels are doing now. Are you doing a no opt-in or are you doing opt-in? Are you progressively emailing your leads? Are you calling your leads, right? That's the questions you have to ask yourself. What makes sense for my business? So again, look at that. No opt-in is 560 per lead or per, per 1,000 clicks and 2,795 over a course of a year for an opt-in over 1,000 clicks. Hey, I want to say thanks. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you got a little bit out of this and I look forward to seeing you in next week's videos.